So, we are loading into another pitched infantry battle on Rome Total War 2. <coughs> Excuse me. Slowly dying. Um, yeah, this time, I'm back playing as the Romans. I'm fighting against the same person who um, I fought against in the Macedonian Pikesman video we wanted to rematch. And I thought, well, given he lost as the Romans, it would make sense for me to pick them and have a go at beating him um, and his chosen army against my Roman infantry. So some of the things I learned from last time playing the Romans. I didn't feel that the Triarii really added much value as spearmen. They weren't particularly good quality spearmen. And I, I wasn't really much of a fan of them. So I felt that it was better off having a more cohort based uh, Roman infantry model. Which kind of makes sense. Instead I complemented the flanks with two units of veteran legionaries. Some much more expensive um, and hopefully superior quality infantry. Yeah you see their morale is that, that much better. But what other armour is actually very slightly worse. But their melee attack is so much higher. And their weapon damage and defence etc is better. So I want these two units on the flanks. Legionary Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm probably going to drop two there. Um, and then... We'll form one sort of line, like so. Going to give me two units to pull back. Which are going to be my sort of uh, uh, undecided reinforcements, as and when required. And then, of course, we have got... My prized veteran legionaries to support each flank. Of these difference, that they look much different. So they do. These guys are. Uh, uh, I see the lesser army. These more of the more later mailed armored legionaries, rather than the Lorica Hamata, or whatever it's called, the, uh, the 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 segment of plate mail. Still a very cool looking unit. Um, supplementing this, obviously, the Romans don't get a Commander, great deal of choice in terms of archers. Um, so push you down slightly to give you for my archers. Ready. I've gone for my traditional three units of Syrian archers. I quite like these guys last time. They're pretty decent uh, ranged units. Um, surprisingly well armoured. They're like they're sort of heavy uh, archers from Marina. See there, they've got all this like scale male armour on. Pretty cool little units. Um, then on top of that, obviously we've got a general and only one unit of cavalry this time. So obviously we've got some heavy legatus and we've just got some heavy auxiliary cavalry. I was running out of money by this point in the selection process. So these are obviously um, a head tribal, not tribal cavalry. So, but oh wow, he's got, he's got gold. Have a look at his gold armor. That looks badass, doesn't it? Um, uh, yeah, these are more like the the support auxiliary cavalry serving in the legions. So that's going to be pretty cool. Um, give us a bit of support on the flanks. We didn't, don't quite know what I'm going up against, to be honest. I think it may be Egypt. But we shall see when we get started. So I am pretty happy with that layout as a unit. Um, we'll see what he's going to do. Whether he's going to go for a similar defensive layout as he did last time. I think if he does, then again, we're going to have to go fairly hard. Because he went quite uh, artillery based last time. And, you know, if he's going to do a similar sort of setup, then I think that gives us little choice but to push pretty aggressively because obviously I'm outranged. Once you're outranged you really don't have a lot of choice but to go sort of you know go for it, go ham and just try and, and try and push push the opportunity. So we'll see what sort of setup we come up against in about 30 seconds. Um, and then go from there. Last time we had some forces concealed in these sort of forests down here. But I think we're just gonna go straight at them um, with our heavy roaming infantry. These guys are pretty good. Quite a fan. My heavy legionary cohorts. Ooh, they're, uh, they're eager, they're even jogging on the spot. They're so eager to crack on with this battle. Okay, 10 seconds to go. Uh, we'll probably just select the mass and do what we did last time and get our whole unit moving forwards as just sort of one blob first. While sort of keeping some semblance of formation. Uh, so I think I spotted some artillery again. Let's get ourselves at least moving up. Let's have a look what we've got. Okay, we've got more artillery than before this time. Oh, we are facing off against... Um, quite a lot, some Egyptian pikemen here, already in phalanx, some very heavy chariots, as well as some camels, camels confirmed, um, <laughs> well there actually are camels, okay, it's a medium axeman, but it's not really a lot, what has he actually got in terms of staple, hold the line, hardcore infantry, there's not that much there, I'm glad I'm playing as the Romans this time rather than the Macedonians, I think that trying to flex our way through these defensive walls and stuff is going to work a lot better for us as the Romans than it would do in sort of the relatively more inflexible pipe phalanx of the Macedonians. I think that's good for us. So we'll just wait for everyone to get into position. We're going to be taking damage doing this, but you know, um, 
Have to advance in an orderly fashion. Jesus, damage is high. <laughs> Have to advance in an orderly fashion. Don't be so. Oh, look at that brutal pounding we're taking on the front lines. He's not got a lot on the flanks, though, to be honest. I think we're going to envelop him. Uh, of course, we don't know what he's got hidden in this forest. Last time he had quite a force hidden in this uh, little bit of forest down here. So that may be a similar thing he's got going on this time. So we shall soon see. Uh, but other than that, are we going to be able to drive off those camels? I don't know how well they're going to fight, to be honest. Ease. The exploding ammunition. Uh, you can see it's starting to rack up some casualties pretty early on. Probably going to get some spots in this forest, though, soon. Um, we could try and force these camels to a fight, I suppose. But no, we'll keep, we'll keep advancing and get the infantry in position. Obviously, these being the very heavy infantry, they are painfully slow. Turkeys are getting moving, as you can see. Oh, a lot of them missed. That's nice. Okay, we're obviously getting a bit close in on this range then now. Uh, our archers are coming into range. Let's get some against some of these Egyptian archers. I think our archers are superior. So let's start to think about getting our infantry up into this fight then now. Troops. We're going to go in on that flag. Sons of no, not like that, Melee please. Troops awaiting orders. Leave the centre open just a little bit. So you're moving. Brave Romans to a man. Legionary uh, cohort. Like that. How are archers getting on against these uh, fellow Egyptians? So far, fairly well. They're very light archers. You know, our Scythians are a pretty Our tough hands. old, uh, well armoured units. You see, we're volleying. I think we're actually outranging them, to be honest, as well. Shot them a little bit of bonus. It tires them out a little bit more, but it means they do more damage. Much more effective. And you can see we're starting to apply some Get pressure me. now on the plank, flank, the planks, or even the flanks of these enemy units, which is going well for us. Let's move up our supporting units as well, just to make sure our archers are well defended. We're going to scout with some of our auxiliary cavalry, because we don't think there's going to be anything in this forest. But it's worthwhile checking it out early on. Um, probably the whole lot can double time it. We're not being shot at all the time. As much as nice as it is to move in in orderly fashion, we do need to move in a little bit with some some haste. Okay, so the enemy archers are broken. I want to stick these on kind of guard mode as well. Let's get some shots on these enemy archers over here. Right, let's get in there. Ready. Ooh, don't really want to go for pikes. Mate. At speed. Get hit by some of those camels. God, get in against those chariots. Push you around there. Start to get everyone moving in now. You lot, particularly on these flanks over here. This is where it's even more important. Is that enemy uh, chariot cavalry? Okay, interesting. Legionary Get you in on the chariots. Romans, I think we're trying to overwhelm him a little bit here, which is the plan. Um, I'm kind of reluctant to get through that gap if we can. This is why the Romans are really good, because they can manoeuvre and navigate themselves really quite well, can't they? So let's cut those camels down. Um, how are our archers getting on? Good. Well, 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 we just smashed that enemy unit of uh, enemy archers as well, so let's go for these guys here. We have engaged these enemy chariots right in the centre. You engage them on the flanks there. Good, that is exactly what we want to do. Let's bring our guys around and get him stuck into this enemy general. Nice, we're now engaging him at all points. A lot of his units are in retreat already. Being forced into fights, he doesn't really want to have, to be honest. These poor camels didn't really stand much of a chance there. And we've engaged him across his front line. These pikemen, when they're catching my units, are doing a great job. But really, he's gone for such a static type of defence. Oh, good, he's poor archers. <laughs> oh, and they've been engaged by a unit of Romans. Let's break down some of these artillery because they're a bit of a pest, aren't they? Um, and our own cavalry is now engaged his other heavy chariots. I don't know how well that's going to go for us compared to them, but I think those chariots are really more of a flexible mobile unit. Now they've been caught in that sort of situation, I don't think it's going to go quite so well for them. Uh, we'll start to put them on. They're holding up pretty well. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Right, let's go. Full speed. Um, these guys here are starting to wave already because they're just being pelted by... Uh, Javelins and stuff, even though we're not going to do so very well fighting them on the flanks, you know, I think it's still worthwhile. Some of these artillery crews are starting to go down. Turning in our favor. And we're starting to get around the flanks of some of these people down here. These Roman camels must be about to go, surely. Uh. Well, we should walk around and see if we can get them out. Right, push you guys on, please. And let's start to bring in our veterans here. I know we're going to fight those pikes front on. Go against these medium axemen then now. 
go. Those camels are all in full rat. That's good. Let's bring our people in on the flanks. He should be using that little unit to bring it up in support, but he's not. Sons of Mars. Get you in on the side there. Uh, and keep pushing you up. Let's get you onto the artillery. One of our units has used all its ammunition. You up more and more and more. Ah, uh, is that the enemy general is routing? Nice job, people. And there goes his cavalry warriors trying to fight some of my cavalry, making use of that uh, intimidate that, that morale debuff feature there on our general, which I always forget to use the last time. Uh, actually, pretty useful. And we're fighting off quite heavily some of their axemen as well. So now we see if we go down. All on to the Egyptian infantry. Kill One of our them all. units has used all its ammunition. Yes. Slaughter them. Oh, look at these poor units of pikemen. <laughs> Well, you don't have to be in for it. Just go in and go have a look. Just free for all it. Uh, I don't think they're going to be having a lot of fun. There we go. We're breaking formation now. You're actually better off really doing that. Oh. Let's go against some of those archers. Um, do we have any cavalry left? Where's our other unit of cavalry gone? Oh, it's still fighting some axemen here in the centre. Okay. Let's get those people there routing. Why are you walking along at half a mile an hour? Probably his chariots have actually recovered. Um, oh, right, let's get some fire on those medium pike infantry in the centre there. That's turning into a heavy fight. Oh, some big volley fires going in there. Let's get some uh, extra damage in because you need to keep doing that. They're pretty fresh here still. Volley fire! Well, they do not like that. But they're caught in like... Uh, <laughs> they've had enough. They've routed and that was really their last bastion of hope. And there goes the enemy pikemen. Well, that actually worked really well for that. I think, if anything, that really does prove a defensive layout like this just doesn't really suit you. It's just, just, just not possible to be that successful because you pay so much of your money for things like these heavy artillery. And look what kills they got, what, 94 and 87? Really not that good. I got as many kills from my archers. You know, we cheaped out and went for some, frankly, crap little light, light units of archers. Not a lot of use. And then, because he spent all his money early on on things like heavy chariots and camels, um, you know, all this was sort of ranged or, or uh, mobile units. It just meant it didn't have enough heavy infantry to be able to to be able to hold it out much. So I think that probably goes to prove that defensive layouts are not really very effective in multiplayer room two. Um, I think I think we've proved that now over these past two videos. So hopefully that was still enjoyable all the same. We have now slaughtered him as Macedonian and the Romans. So that's looking pretty good for us. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I shall see you all in the next video.